Nigerian women farmers under the ages of small-scale women farmers of Nigeria, SOFON, are calling on the federal government to extend support to them as part of palliative measures from the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu agenda to mitigate against the effect of subsidy removal on their means of livelihood. The call was made in Abuja during the Group National Advocacy Forum organized by small-scale women farmers of Nigeria in collaboration with Action Aid Nigeria where election was conducted to usher in new executives that will oversee the activities of the group for the coming years. The group lamented the negative effect the federal government's decision to remove fuel subsidy has had on Nigerian farmers, especially in the area of high cost of transportation and its effects also on the prices of products or produce in the market. However, the Minister of State Agriculture represented at the event promised to provide palliatives for the women as well as ensure that women farmers in the country are adequately empowered. You cannot live up to this without working together. I would like to also paraphrase what the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said when he inaugurated um, the ministers. He charged the ministers not to work like regional ministers but that they should work like ministers of favorite government of Nigeria. We have come from different regions as ESCOs, and I'm happy that every region is represented on, on the new ESCO. I want you to work not for your region, but to work for the good of all women farmers in Nigeria. Any other thing that you have, either talking about religion or the zone where you come from, should be put aside. What we want is going to be a teamwork. We want to see SOFON developing, not growing, it has already grown, but we want to see it work developing. We need your prayers, and I want to assure the minister that we have been getting support. SOFON in general has been getting support, and we are praying that this support that we have been given us is going to continue. I don't even have any doubt whatsoever. We are yet to receive our own women farmers oh, and the agri sector. Uh, secondly, we also notice that in the planning of the distribution of palliative, we are actually left behind. If you want to give palliative to farmers, you should be informed of inputs, improved seeds, so that we can quickly go into dry season farming to augment what has happened in the rainy season. Our extension services through the ADP, that is Agricultural Development Project, are tailored towards building the capacity of grassroots women in agriculture. I'm also aware that FCT administration has a policy to promote gender inclusiveness, which ensures that at least 40% of women are accommodated in all its agricultural empowerment program. In my capacity as Minister of State and a woman, I will continue to advocate for greater support for women in agriculture, not just in FCT, but the country at large. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.